we wanted to do a modern interpretation of a Busby Berkeley deal, and um, and this is it. The the weird thing is, um, we wanted to go kind of hardcore with the the tits and the ass, but not in an exploitive way, but just in kind of a beautiful way. Like, okay, this it's time to show the the extreme power and beauty of of the female form and all of its energy within. But there was a, a woman working at Warner Brothers who was just so not into it. She's like, no, 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 that's you can't you can't use a woman like that. And I was like, come on, we're it's not out of out of lack of respect. It's it's out of love for sexual energy and and all this stuff. And so in the end, she ended up somewhere in the middle. It was supposed to be a lot more racy and kind of sexually challenging than it ended up being because uh, of this dispute at Warner Brothers, which is kind of a drag. I think this video has some really good parts of it that are grandiose and good. Um, but I think we tried to do too much, there's a little bit too much stuff in it. Well, it was a big production and obviously the water and the synchronized swimming and the, the gum popping cello girls. The airplane thing was important to me. I really liked airports and airports. All these sort of outer buildings are painted red and white check. So that was the set then became red and white check because that's basically what I had seen of airports. And, but Chad is tough. Chad's a tough guy. He came into the set and he takes one look at it. Fuck, it looks like a Purina dog commercial. You know, it could have been really cool and I don't think it quite got there. I lived in East Hollywood at the time, a very mixed cultural place in the city all of these cholas who would just hang out on the street. And I just thought these girls were just insane, the way that they looked and made themselves up. So it was like, well, let's have the dancing girls, instead of them being these sort of very sort of, you know, exact, sort of clean cut, you know, we'd give them this crazy makeup and hair and uh, glitter suits and whatever. All of this stuff is just designed and all of the stuff is built. There's nothing rented in that video at all. It was shot on the oldest soundstage in Hollywood. It's shot actually where uh, in Universal, where they keep the Phantom of the Opera set. And to use the, the, the swimming pool, I think was $25,000, $27,000 fee. We couldn't afford to heat it. It was that expensive to heat it that the water is freezing cold. Those poor girls. Yeah, these girls were from somewhere in the, the Inland Empire, the swimmers, and they were a professional team of, of water ballet girls. And, uh, and then we have this beautiful look here of the girls. These are like cholas, you know, from the... This is like a hybrid of chola, these, you know, Mexican gangster girls, but dressed up in the full Vegas showgirl golden bodysuits there. The uh, choreography was done by this really wonderful choreographer, Keith Young. And he made up all that stuff on the stage. There was no rehearsal, there was no three days of rehearsing. You've got to do more than just stand on the ground. I know you said you didn't want to do anything goofy, but would you please stand on the, uh, the trapezes? The trapezes are like 25 feet above this freezing cold pool. What happened is the strap broke. Luckily, there was water down below. But yeah, I, I went falling, whatever it was, 20 feet. And sadly fell in the pool. Needless to say, I never worked with them again after that. Yeah, the little kids who arrive at the end is uh, the little kids from Flea's daughter, Clara's, preschool. Clara's the little girl in the middle and she's singing the loudest and she's super proud that it's her dad's band. The song, It's My Airplane, Airplane, was originally, I used to have this compilation gospel record and there was this great gospel song called Jesus Is My Airplane and that inspired the song Airplane because he sings Music Is My Airplane and that was uh, inspired by that song which was a great, great song.